Hi, I'm Brian Castro from Abstract Instruments. I'm at NAMM 2016 uh, here on Friday. Um, we're showing the Avalon Baseline Synthesizer that uh, just went into production about four months ago. Um, the Avalon Baseline is based on the TB303. It shares the same core circuitry, the same components, and the same uh, layout and circuit board design uh, from the TB303. Um, in addition to the uh, basic 303 circuitry, the Avalon adds some additional analog and digital controls. So, we start with the main board, which is the exact same as the TB303. And what we do is we add uh, some additional analog controls, including the sub-oscillator. So we didn't go ahead and add a, a second uh, VCO or anything like that. We've tried it, but we found that just adding a sub-oscillator enhances the 303 sound better than trying to uh, go too far with the sound. We still wanted to limit the sound set so that you stay in the same groove or the same uh, analog baseline type behavior uh, as the 303. So for the analog signal section, um, we added the sub-oscillator, and I can uh, demonstrate that very quickly. So here is a pattern with just the 303 sound, which we're using a square wave now. We can bring in the sub-oscillator. We can isolate the sub-oscillator and turn off the main oscillator. In addition to the sub-oscillator, uh, we have uh, an accent decay, uh, which gives us a different decay time of, on the filter envelope on accented notes. Um, and also we have a VCA decay level, uh, a decay setting control. So on the TB303, as many of you probably know, the decay time is fixed. Uh, it's fixed at about three seconds decay time. So on a 303, we'll put it back to a 303 setting here. setting and we have no volume now because we bas basically turned off all modulation settings to the VCA. So then we can bring in the VCA and you can hear the quick attack coming in. So that's just the VCA envelope. Then we can bring accents back in. More voice controls in addition to those are the uh, modulation envelope. So the modulation envelope is similar uh, to the filter envelope in that it can be triggered on all steps in a pattern. So, for example, if I'm recording a pattern and I'm setting uh, an accent in a slide, I can also set the modulation envelope to trigger. So I'll try to do a quick demonstration here. So here I'm triggering this modulation envelope on a couple steps. Okay, now for the digital control. So the digital uh, portion of the Avalon baseline is reverse compatible to TB303. So you could um, uh, plug in the microcontroller from the TB303 and this would actually work. At least the original feature set of the TB303 would work on the Avalon baseline. So with that said, um, let me clear a pattern and start a new pattern here. 
So I can program just like the TB303 with pitch and time mode. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go into pitch mode. I'm gonna enter some notes. And I'm gonna go into time mode. Set the steps. And a random pattern here. Okay, now in addition to pitch and time mode like the TB303, you can also use what we call normal mode or the normal programming method for the Avalon. So to set the note length, you can just use the step buttons here. These are actually buttons as well as in, uh, LED indicators. So you can actually press a button, set a note length, set a couple more notes, turn notes off. Now, you can also just press a step and you can set the accent slide and transpose attributes or the triggering attribute if you want to trigger the new modulation envelope. You can do that on a per step basis directly from the step buttons. Now, the third programming mode is just to record directly. So I'm going to clear this pattern again and you can just hit record. You can hook up uh, your keyboard via USB MIDI or MIDI, however you want, and you can actually record your pattern in real time. Now, all this is done while the sequencer is running. And you can also just jump back and forth between uh, pattern rainbows. So I could uh, record from the keyboard externally, get a pattern going, and then change it. So I got a couple mistakes or whatever. Just do that. Now, in addition to uh, just uh, actually writing the pattern, there's um, a lot of pattern modifiers on here. So, um, there's pattern rotation. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to go back and set a four step pattern here to make it easier to hear. Okay, so I got a simple four step pattern. It's running forward. I can run it in reverse. I can run it in pendulum mode where it goes back and forth. Or I can run it in random where the pattern direction is random. So it's playing the notes to program uh, uh, randomly. There's, there's no, just the step. You can rotate patterns. So if you say you're trying to find the downbeat and you're a couple steps off or, or, or you're just playing real time and trying to get a nice groove going, you can rotate patterns. There's a filter CV setting, so uh, for each step in a pattern, you can set a filter CV offset. So for example, you've got your accents going and your modulation envelope triggers going. Now, in addition to that, or in summing with that, you can have this filter cutoff CV offset. Go into filter CV offset mode, select a step, and then input the offset. The offset is input using the eight uh, key buttons and the four uh, uh, section buttons over here. So step one, I put a, a negative uh, CV offset. Step two, just so you can hear it easily, I'll put a high. So you get kind of a, a sample and hold sound going on here. There's also real time uh, mode uh, in pattern play and pattern right mode where you can actually, in real time, you can transpose the pattern, add accents, and add slides in real time as you're playing it. So you can play the machine live. Um, so, say you have a pattern programmed already and all you want to do is you're playing live. You don't want to erase the pattern, you put the machine into pattern play mode, but then you still want to still want to add accents and slides in real time but without overwriting the pattern. Along those same lines, uh, the Avalon has an arpeggiator, so I'm going to select a different pattern here. Now, if I start the arpeggiator, Oh, I'm in pattern right mode. I gotta go into pattern right mode. I'm in pattern right mode. I see the arpeggiator. You can arpeggiate. You back out of it. I'm stopping it. It's gonna go back to the pattern that you were originally playing. Now, if you're in an art mode, if you're playing in art, you will like it. You wanna record it. You hit record mode. 
keyboard it actually um, you can play it in real time so you can play all your multiple notes at the same time when you're programming the ARP from the Avalon you actually type in the notes one at a time so if I'm uh, doing it as played ARP go into ARP mode basically program them uh, in that fashion now we're in as played mode. Now we're down. Now we're up. Now we're in pendulum mode. Additional features in pattern write mode, so per step attributes that you can set in the Avalon um, are slide time per step. So for each step, there are four available slide times. So the TP303 has a fixed slide time. Uh, it's approximately 250 milliseconds, so you can only slide at the, the same rate. So in the Avalon, per step, there's four choices. You can set the slide time for 30 milliseconds approximately, 100 milliseconds, 250 milliseconds, or one second. Um, there's also variable gate time. Um, you can have gate times of approximately 10% of the, the, the step length, 50% uh, approximately, which is the uh, TP303 setting, 75% uh, uh, or 90%. So it has variable gate times per step. Yeah, for the con connectivity on the Avalon baseline, we have CVIO, it's Eurorack compatible. Uh, there's plus or minus five volt CV and square output. Uh, there's an external input. When you're using the external input, it overrides the uh, sub-oscillator, and uh, the sub-oscillator slash external input is actually a preamp level control. So you could actually drive, you could actually send it line level signals and enough gain there where you could play various signal sources through the uh, Avalon. Um, it has a, a VCA out. It has a filter CV input. It has a sweep output. Sweep output is a normalized copy of the accent sweep that you get from the 303 or the Avalon on accented notes. So it's the wow uh, that you get, which is a uh, copy of the filter envelope that's been slewed. It's normalized to zero volts, so you can send it to your modular or to your external gear and have that uh, filter sweep available uh, externally to the Avalon. It has uh, CV and gate I.O. Uh, main out, headphone out, uh, there's a frequency response button here. Now the 303 uh, has a limited frequency response. It uh, approximately goes down to uh, about 85 hertz. Um, there's a button we can override that, and uh, the Avalon can go down to 20 hertz, so it's full range device. It has a sub oscillator with minus one and two oct and minus two octave settings. So the minus two octave uh, selection switch is actually on the rarity unit above the sub level control. Uh, lastly, we have the external filter card system. So this switch here, filter B, overrides the internal TB303 diode ladder filter and um, swaps in the external filter on the external filter card. So you put the card in and you press filter B and it uh, replaces the 303 filter with, for example, the first two units we have uh, going into production um, just after NAM are the SEM state variable filter and the Moog transistor ladder filter. Now, filter cartridges for the Avalon support two modes uh, per cart. So for example, for the SEM filter, um, there's a low pass and a high pass mode. For the Moog filter, there's a 24 dB low pass and a 12 dB band pass mode. Um, that incidentally, the filter mode can actually be saved with the pattern. So if you're trying to set up a live setup or maybe you're in the studio recording and you want it saved with the pattern, so one pattern you want a high pass mode and the other pattern you want it in low pass mode, it's actually saved with the pattern, um, which could be useful. It has a USB MIDI. It's class compliant. You plug in the MIDI cable, the Avalon will show up as Avalon MIDI uh, in your, on the software side, and you can send it MIDI clock or program the Avalon uh, from your software or external hardware. 
the Avalon baseline started shipping about four months ago. And, um, we had just about caught up with orders. We are currently taking orders. Um, we have a second production run that is in process right now that will be in-house in approximately four weeks. But we still have some left from the first production that are still shipping. Um, the filter cartridges, they're overdue. Um, as many of you may have pre-ordered, no. The uh, Moog and transistor filters are actually, one of them is actually coming while I'm at NAM here, and the other one's coming in approximately one week. So those will be shipping very quickly, shortly after NAM. The pricing on the uh, Avalon baseline is $949 US. Um, if you need to find out more information, uh, you can uh, visit our website at abstractinstruments.com.